Yo, craziest birthday ever. Wait, you want it now, like we're pre? Yo, craziest birthday. Ah, 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 oh, my God. Yo, craziest birthday ever. Craziest birthday ever. Good morning, Nub Nation. Welcome to my birthday vlog. Today is my 30th birthday. So I'm, I'm 30 now, actually. Last night I went to sleep, I was 29. I woke up this morning and now I'm 30. Some would refer to it as the big 3-0. Some would refer to it as over the hill. <laughs> I'm just living it. So I don't really know what to refer to it as. It is currently 36 degrees out here in my home state of New Jersey. And we are going to go get some coffee. But... I've been pretty obsessed with oat milk, so I'm gonna go to the grocery store and see if I can find some oat milk before I get coffee. Um, if not, we're just gonna go get some good old fashioned hot coffee for the dream. Good morning, hope you guys are stoked on life, and uh, yeah, let's go live it. The reason that's so crazy is because fireworks were illegal in New Jersey up until like this summer. So now they just sell them, that's wild. There's actually a legit oat milk shortage. So gotta get almond, but I love oat milk. It's so good. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. How'd they know? How'd they know? Gonna teach you guys a little trick that a lot of the young visionaries might not be up on yet. If you're me, you bring in the whole half gallon because you don't like the Wawa flavors. So you bring in your whole half gallon of almond milk and you pour it right in your coffee on the spot and you think nothing of it for the dream. Too easy. So hot. Woo. Birthday coffee success. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I texted you at like five this morning. Never texted me back. I just texted you back like two minutes ago. I don't get how dad's working on my birthday. Wait, he has to work. Angels of Puerto Rico at Robert's home. I'm picking Robert up to go to the doctor in like three hours. He wasn't working today 30 years ago. Why? Because I was being born. And you were born? He, yeah, but he was ragged. Come on, this baby has to come out. I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> it's my new initiative. Dad's in need of surfboards. What does that mean? It's for those dads out there that spend all their money on diapers. Yeah, but what are you talking about? Like, what are you doing? If you were watching the vlog about 10 seconds ago, then you've heard about my new initiative, Dinos, D-I-N-O-S. Shut up! Ah! Dad's in need of surfboards. Yeah, I'm going over, I'm dropping a surfboard off to a dad in need. He's been spending all his money on diapers and he wants to shred this winter. This, this dang, this dang uh, thing taking me all around town. I forget what it's called, navigation. Anyway, this dad needs to shred. His name's Will, he's a new father, and he's been getting out there this winter, but his stick is not up to par. As a matter of fact, it's so not up to par that he snapped it last time he served. Let's ride. My first, uh, this is my first Dinos delivery, dude. Dad's in need of surfboards. <laughs> Dude, we're killing it. Yeah. Here you go. Get out of there, dude. Dinos, dude. Dude, Dinos. <laughs> Dinos is here, dude. All right, the first Dinos delivery. Full success. I've been friends with Will for a long time. He's a lifelong friend of mine. So stoked to be able to hook him up. The boy's gonna be charging some crazy winter swells now. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> Yay, Bob! Happy birthday! Yay, Bob! Thank you. Happy birthday! How'd I know? It's my you birthday. I do what I want. And present. I don't want. Okay, well, get away from me. I had to do the that then. Okay. I have something to put on. Mosquito. Yo, craziest birthday ever. Yo, craziest birthday. <laughs> Oh, my voice slipped my whole finger. 
What? Ben? What do you mean? I need stitches. What do you mean? Mom. What do you mean stitches? Mom. <laughs> Mom and I did this slice like we were in bed. Oh my god. Mom, Papa, can you have a paper towel? Or can you give me like a tissue? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not ready. Happy bed. What do you mean? It, it says happy bed. It's <laughs> the rest of it. What's the J for? That wasn't a J, it was a wand. Are you sure you didn't put yourself in there because you wanted some recognition? Oh man. Boba, it looked so good. I have a picture of it though, so it's... we can show the everyone how good it looks. Happy birthday to Bob. Happy birthday, dear Bubba Chaba. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay, Bob, look, the candle. Isn't this it cool? Is nice. It's a dinosaur. I hope to get a lot of on my birthday. Bob! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thanks, babe. Thanks. Um, you don't have to eat these later. Too. No, I want to eat it. This is Bubba's. Okay, this is your birthday present. Here we One, go. there might be more, like, you know, as the, the year as goes the, on. As the night goes on. Why is this not working? All right, I'm ready. I'm scared. Why don't we sit? Birthday boy. I'm big on uh, surprising myself, so I tear, I tear all the stuff Oh my it. gosh. Because I don't know what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. We Wait, hold on, don't open it. I have to save that video, and then I have to put the next one up. Okay, let's see. I have a theory. Are you more worried about your story than my vlog? We're on even turn, like even. Yay! Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! It's trying to Bob's. You did so good. <laughs> Shout out Kelly Slater, my best friend. Thanks for the present. <laughs> did you talk to Kelly about it? Yeah, like I did. How, I, t how, I told him it was. How to arrange it? Yeah, I was like, what is the best way to? This is awesome. Thanks, babe. You like it? You did a really good job. Thanks. Wow. This is a labor of love because I went to the store. Bought all the stuff, then it was way too tiny. So then I had to go back in the morning raid, get the new one. But this is a cool one because we can add, like, it's like, it hangs up. It's perfect for hanging because it yeah, has, like, the great. little things. The house. Yeah, yeah. I might have chocolate in my teeth. Let's talk about something. I look good right here. Jordan looks good. I look good here. Jordan looks good here. Take a picture with Kelly. <laughs> I look terrible. <laughs> Why did I do that though? But, but we both look bad in that picture. You look good. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. You like it? I love it. Okay, well, Thank you may you. have more presents. Happy birthday. Not like legitimate presents. It's hard to get Woo! you a present. What's up, big dog? Big dogs are us. Happy birthday. Thanks, big dog. <laughs> that will be I just don't want to, then we don't have to carry it around. Aw, that's so nice. Thanks, Gabe. Waverly picked out the cart. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Taylor Swift, I bet. <laughs> wow, dude, how did the sneak attack you? Thanks, boys. Yeah, no doubt. What are you guys doing out there? About to go surf. No way. It's so flat over here. I got my present over here from the Dunn family. It's an ass. Whoa. Wow. Waverly, Ethan, Owen, happy birthday to Ben. It's your birthday, do whatever makes your ass happy. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That's awesome. That makes me happy because I eat there every day. Thank you guys. This will buy me coffee for the next three full days. All right, and we are at the Atlantic City Convention Center. We're at the Atlantic City Convention Center right now. We're going up to the Surf Expo. So I don't know who's gonna be there, but it's on. Woo. Dude, I got your clips, you bro. Did you get me on my board on that one big, on that one big set? You were Before ripping, I got dude. That on video. You were ripping, dude. No, yes, you were. you were. How are you? Good, Good how are you? See you? Dude, how are you? Always a pleasure. Always. I was trying to push the wax, man. Are we selling any or what? Sell me on that top. The Hyperflex top? Yeah. All right, this is the new ladies viral long arm short leg. It comes out in uh, spring 2019. It's like a fun summer cut. It would look good on uh, Jordan here. I'm on better that. on her than me. <laughs> so Jordan will be rocking this coming up this year. We thought it was pretty cool. A lot of fun colors, back zip. Got a booty cut, but it's not too short. Yeah. Straight up booty cut. <laughs> well, you can't say booty on uh, Nub TV. Booty, 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 booty. Shall I say, what's your favorite item in the lineup, Big Dog? Right now, 
Come on now. What is that? Is that a pineapple? That's the Ben Gravy Viral right there. Gravy. It's right there. No, actually, my favorite product in line right now, Hyperflex Viral 543. It's a $229 retail winter suit. It's super stretched, super comfy, super affordable. Comes in black, comes in gray, comes in every cut and size. This suit is awesome. And at that price, like half the price of everybody else. So it looks clean, looks good. I think you're wearing it right now, aren't you? We've got the official Ben Gravy T model for summer 2019. It comes with a giant pineapple on the back in the future. We're going with pink and purple for uh, <laughs> gravy colors. <laughs> really gonna drive in. It'll look good on a soft top is what, is what I'm saying. Mark the shark. Mark the shark. Oh, let me. Talk to me about novelty waves. You know I was there the day you rode the one in Longport under the pier. It was one of the best days ever. But you're the king of the novelty wave, man. Uh, it's a special day today, isn't it? Yeah. And, 30 years uh, old. Half your age. Three? <laughs> <laughs> What's today? His birthday. And what do you say? Happy birthday. How's your, how's your vlogging even, skills? I don't think that My vlogging is... And here we are at the show. And Look, double. Um, what's it called? Vlogception? Oh, 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 you got me. Got you, dog. <laughs> All right, man. Happy birthday, Ben. Thank you, Mark. Uh, many, many more. Health, happiness, lots of waves. Thank you. You're a legend. All right, guys, we're in Philadelphia right now. We are currently one mile away from the destination that I don't know what the destination is. This is a full-blown surprise, and I'm really hoping it's not this boat. Okay, I'm taking you, you on the spirit of Philadelphia. Are we going to eat right now, or we're going no, we're to going, the surprise? We're just going to this little surprise. I don't know, I don't know what to expect. That's all I'm saying right now, but if it's not Dave and Buster's, I'm gonna be pissed. All right, here we go. Stop. What is it? Stop. Can I park in this little parking thing? Is this parking? Stop. No way. Well, but stop. <laughs> it's an ice skating rink. Oh no, do you want to do that? That's oh, not what wait, what, what is it then? I don't know because now I, I need somewhere to park. Then what's going on? Can I turn here? Yeah, banger right. Market Street parking. Where did you know parking here? In what the hell could this be? Taking me to an undisclosed river wave. Come on, Bubba, where are you taking me, Jordan? It's not that big a deal. It's a big freaking deal now. It better be the biggest deal in the world if we just did this. What do you mean? You didn't do anything. Are you excited, Bub? Sure. He's so nervous. He thinks I'm taking him to like all these different places, but. What do I think it is? Yeah. A river wave. No. A crane. Okay. This is, and I got a pen. This is called the Philadelphia Hope Fence. And it's supposed to be for like love and like hope and stuff. So then I got us a lock and thought that you could write like what you're like, you hope and like goals and stuff. And then put it on the fence. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun. It's really nice. You like it? Yeah. Whatever you're hopeful for, whatever you hope for or whatever, you can think about it if you want. Alright, I'm good. Can you come up with one? Am I allowed to tell it? If you want. I said I'm thankful for everything I've been blessed with since I changed my life. I hope to keep pushing. I like it, Bob. See, there it is, so whatever here. Yep. All right. So no one will ever be able to unlock that lock now. It's on there forever, and I'm gonna make a wish. Ready? Ready. <laughs> hey, Bob. Good kiss. Thanks, Bubba. Let's look at the thing. That's a special present. Do you like You're it? a part of one of those things. Yeah. Man. One of my blessings. Do you like it? I know it's not like crazy, no, it but... Me, it made me feel emotional. <laughs> That's my goal. Because oh, this, is, this is a really crazy way to reflect because I don't actually express how I feel a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Love you, Bob. This is the whole point. Thanks, Bob. And I know you're an old man now, so I thought it would be special. Thank you. But 
it's crazy to think about because my life sucked before all this, so. She used to celebrate love and hope and it is a place where anyone and everyone can tell their story. I didn't even know that. Take a moment to commemorate your special person, dream, memory. Talk to so me, big dog. Sent me a photo of the link, and I was like, "This can't be real. This has to be Photoshop." Bro, so bro, it's, it's, it's real. Why? What do you think, dude? I got freaking featured on Stab Magazine, y'all. You literally, you literally changed the world today. You nuked it, full blown. And the boy just got featured on Stab. That's the talk of the city, dude. Hey, right? Uh, hey, Alex. Congrats. That's so exciting. Thanks, Jordan. You're welcome. What do you what what can we see from you next coming up? What can we see? Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to post the article on my account, so stay tuned. I have never thought in a million years I got featured on staff. I didn't even think about it today I ever got featured. <sighs> until like my mind's going all over the place right now, but to those watching, thank you, Stab. Thank you everyone, especially the Nub Nation, the Blue Wonderland Nation. Here we go. It's gonna be exciting. Buy myself a drum. Birthday present for myself. All right, we just left Guitar Center thanks to my untrusty camera woman. We didn't get any footage while we were in there, but I ended up buying the kick pedal that I wanted. This has been a dream of mine. This has been a dream of mine since this morning, so. But, but how many times are you gonna use this? The, the kick pedal. For like the next 30 or 40 minutes. Okay. Last year, Ben, for his birthday, he bought himself a mini guitar. And this year, we went back to Guitar Center and he bought himself a drum thing. We're gonna see how long he actually uses it for, because he used his mini guitar that night, and that was it. You just you just don't believe in my band. Oh, God. Well, it's just kinda cool he's gonna be a one-man band now, so. Whatever. Always have been. True. Bars. And I'm gonna be doing vocals. God. <laughs> Should we make a song tonight? Yeah. Promise you guys we're making a song for you tonight. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be a hit. It's I already got it written. Me actually. too. Explain to everyone what you bought yourself for your big birthday. Why would I explain in words when I can explain in song? Oh god, wait, why is this so out of focus? So I don't know. Yeah. Sounds so good. All right, just got back to New Jersey. Long birthday. I got a note from Tucker, Benjamin Franklin. Starbucks gift card, thanks guys. Benjamin Franklin it said? Yeah. Oh my God, I love it. Sammy and Tuck, thank you guys. That's nice. And I got a note, it's gonna be powerful, I can tell. Happy birthday, Ben. Years seem to go by like an instant, not like when we were young. It seems only yesterday when we used to go to the Coventry Mall and get super pretzels with mom, and when dad let us drive the four-door white truck at the Kimberton School up the hill, even though none of us had a license or really knew how to drive. It's crazy all these years we put ourselves in Nub and created something unique that we could all be proud of. I still am, but think about it and what Nub has actually put into us. Our whole lives we tried to prove our worth to the world and really what truly matters was there the whole time. The whole time I realized I was just trying to prove myself to you and Hob and show us all that what we've done is important and we've truly given the world something truly unique and meaningful. Murph dying really hit me hard, but it also made me realize if I could turn back, I wouldn't change a f 
thing. I'm proud of who we've become and thank God every day for you and our family and what you've done for me. Without you pushing me, I wouldn't be half the man I've become. It's easy to discount things, but you've done a f***ing lot for me. Thank you. Another year gone so fast, but it doesn't hurt as bad knowing I'll grow old because I know I'll always have you. I love you, dude. Nub forever. <laughs> Damn. That's so nice. That was the heaviest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's so nice, Bob. It's a really meaningful letter. Thank you, Tucker. And it was typed on a typewriter, I can tell. That's so cool, it was. <laughs> because he didn't, th there's mistakes. Do you want to start? Pretty awesome. How cool is that? It looks, it's so cool. We should like somehow frame it or something. I love it. Thank you, Tucker. I'm honored. I'm going to keep this forever. I think about this stuff every day. Cool, Bob. Really cool. Stoked. Nation, I am really excited. I got a package in the mail from Wacky Buttons Incorporated. Due to lack of scissors, this box has made a sacrifice. Ah! This package contains one and a half inch round pins, 150 of them. Oh my such a good size, God. Man. This is the coolest thing that has ever, that has ever happened in the history of ever. So if you ordered a beanie, you are getting one of these. And then I'm going to have 30 left after that, so. I want one. You want one? At least on my Instagram. <laughs> you have one. You have one. No, Do I you? want multiple. Alright guys, I'm at my house here on the computer and I pulled up this video from 10 years ago because I'm 30 now. It's my 30th birthday. I am 30 years old and I pulled up a video from when I was 20. So this is a video of me surfing when I was 20 years old. I've never done anything like this but I'm gonna watch I'm gonna watch through it with you guys and just talk about it because um, I, I thought it would be fun to do. So I'm gonna do a little screen recording here. That's recording. And uh, then I'm going to play the video we're going to talk about. It. All right. <clears throat> Inappropriate. And that right there, I remember that air like it was yesterday. That was, I mean, I, I haven't done one like that since. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Heritage board shorts. And I'm riding the Heritage Hawk board. And uh, wow, it's such a grom. Look at this. This is Atlantic City, my favorite spot, right out front of the Rebel Casino. Look at this. Look at this. When the sandbar was good. Are you kidding me? I have to drive hours to get those barrels nowadays. Just spit out right in my hometown. Crazy. Throttled right there. So this was a good day. South Carolina Avenue in Atlantic City. Can't really tell in this clip, but first of all, I could actually blow tail, which is surprising. I have a Heinz catsup t-shirt on. Um, yeah, pretty sick. So that was out front in Longport. This is Cape May. Look at that, I was going left. First time for everything. Another one. So back 
In these days, I surfed Atlantic City a lot. Because that's Atlantic City. The last three clits have been Atlantic City. And that was a hideous error verse. Let me just play that back. That was hideous. <laughs> How's this wetsuit? I don't even know what this was called. I think it was called Energy Wetsuits. They're definitely out of business. Back zip. I was rocking full mitten gloves and boots. And haircut of choice, always mohawk. I was like the king of the mohawk. This is Atlantic City. I forget which hurricane, but this day, oh my God, this day was the best day. I wish the waves were like this all the time. It was literally unmakeable. Unmakeable barrels on the beach in Atlantic City. <clears throat> Look at this. It's like a head high wave. There is no, there is no water in front of me. It's right on the sand. Literally right on the sand. Little air reverse, Longport. This is another Longport clip. This is my hometown. The place doesn't even break anymore. This is so funny. Gotta talk about this. On the beach in Atlantic City, this was a phone booth. Somebody buried a phone booth on the beach. So the phone was hanging out and I was pulling on the phone and trying to pull the phone booth up out of the sand. This is another Atlantic City clip. God, it used to be so good. Um. By the way, back then I always rode janky wetsuits. I always borrowed wetsuits from like my dad or Kevmo down at Heritage. Always boards that people gave me. This is a board that Brian Heritage gave me. It was like the demo version of the Heritage Hawk. Let's see if I got out on this little air. I got out. I count it. Um, so the boards were always like the wrong size. They were too big, too small. They were beat up, uh, waterlogged, all that kind of stuff. I never had nice boards until like 2015. Um, when I started buying my own surfboards. So here I'm just on barred equipment, rocking a mohawk, ghetto wetsuits that I like shoe glued back together. I remember this day specifically, literally 40 mile an hour offshore winds. It was frigid outside. Did a couple backside spinners. This is that hurricane again. Um, I got a couple pretty good barrels in this video. I'm glad I started changing where I surfed though. There it is, there it is. Cause I've been getting way more barrel the past year than I ever, ever have. But look at that, Heinz tomato ketchup. I love that shirt. <clears throat> so this was, I was about 19, 18 years old, 19. So this could have been 11 years ago. Maybe I was 20. These board shorts that I'm rocking in this video right here, a company called Alliance. They went out of business, but that was my sponsor when I was, when I was that age. It was a snowboard company turned surf. He ended up going out of business. This footage was filmed in 60p, I can tell. Or 60 frames, I mean. Rocking the Mohawk, of course. Um, Firewire, that board was way too long for me. Does not compute. That was actually a good board for me. My buddy Drew Lippy gave me this surfboard. It's a John Carper, it was orange. Look at this thing, freight training. Oh my god, that was epic. Oh, I made this. I made this wave. Nice. The most hideous reverse ever. This is down in Florida. Sebastian Inlet. Back in the day. This. Atlantic City just pumping, dude. Atlantic City again in the summer. And uh, Atlantic City again. That was a decent backside turn. Florida. Little tail wafter. I don't even know what wetsuit that was. I remember this like it was yesterday. What one? Coming to the inside. Yeah, I'm gonna give it another. Wow, that was actually kind of sick. Cause I pushed my tail out. So see, my fins are sticking out of the wave. Confidence. I used to surf with confidence. And here's the section ender. Before I could properly do those. <laughs> Before I could stick the shove it properly. I got out though, I got out. Look at my butt cracks out. Stuck it. Loverevolution.com, that was our old website. So, that's me surfing a decade ago. Um, a lot has changed. I do not have a mohawk anymore. I have good equipment, I have good wetsuits. And uh, other than that, you can just see the natural progression. So, that was fun. Thanks, guys.